Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about the largest subarray with zero sum. The explanation is completely based on the assumption that you already have some basic coding knowledge. If you are not good at basic coding, please visit our website learningmonkey.in. Take the course placement training for service based companies, then come for the competitive coding. Coming to today's class, given an array of integers. So they are going to give an array of integers. Find the length of the largest sub array with summation 0. That is what we need to identify. Example 10, 5, minus 5, 1, 5, minus 6, 11. This is the input. See here the length of the largest sub array with some 0. 5 minus 5. Summation is 0. Yes, the what is the length of the largest sub 2? But this is not the case. 5 minus 5, 1, 5 minus 6. 5 minus 5, 0. 1, 5, 6. 6 minus 6, 0. So what's the length of the largest subarray? 5. So our output is 5. This is what we need to identify. And you need to maintain the time complexity of order of n and space complexity of order of n. How to do that? Let's try to understand the logic with an example. Let's take an example. So we need to maintain two conditions. What's those conditions? Let's try to understand with an example. 10, 5, minus 2, minus 3, so on. Keeps on. Elements are there. So if you maintain, if you maintain the summation value. So at this position, what's the summation? 10 keeps on adding 10 plus 5 at this position what's the summation 15 15 minus 2 at this position what's the summation 13 13 minus 3 at this position what's the summation 10 so we started with summation value 10 at this position again 10 so what do you understand from that what's the meaning of that means 5 minus 2 minus 3 which is this summation value is 0 so we started with summation 10 at 0th position when you came to the third position 3 minus 0 so how many elements are there with the with the summation value 0 5 minus 2 minus 3 which is 0 3 elements so the length of the subarray is 3 so this is how we, we maintain this is how we identify the summation 0 and length of the subarray Let's take one more example. We started with summation value 10 from the starting position. Is it compulsory to maintain uh, always have the uh, zero value from the starting position? No, no need to do have that. Uh, let's take the another example. We started with summation value 10. 10 is uh, at zero at the position. When you add the next one 12 at this position 1 uh, at one position. What's the summation value 12 minus 6 12 minus 6 6. 6 plus 6 12 so at this position the summation is 12 again at this position the summation is 12 means 3 minus 1 2 elements you are getting summation value 0 so this is how we have to do that in order to do that we need to maintain the summation and index value at this position summation is 10 what is the index 0 at this position summation is 12 what is the index 1 so we need to maintain that at this position summation is 6 what is the index 2 if you maintain that we can easily identify from where to where we need to check the index value so in order to maintain that we are going with the hash table 10 0 key value pairs it, it looks like key value pairs 10 0 12 1 6 2 so we need to maintain a key value pair so how to do the hash table in python in our last classes we already discussed that uh, we go with the dictionary similarly this is one condition we need to maintain a hash table hash table contains key value pairs key value pairs of summation and index position similarly one more condition you need to identify 10 initially summation is 10 10 plus 2 12 12 minus 6 6 6 minus 6 0 so when you keeps on adding the elements if summation is 0 what's the index here 0 1 2 3 3 plus 1 total how many elements are there with summation 0 4 elements 
your summation may be zero or your summation may be may, may be equal to some other summation which already maintained in our previous summations so these are the two conditions we we need to check in that we have to identify the maximum length in order to maintain the maximum length we go with a variable max length so keeps on updating the maximum length with the greater value so how to do that let's try to with the example we need to maintain some index pair so uh, so this is the example 10 5 minus 5 1 5 minus 6 11 so first summation is a 10 so keep uh, maintain a, a hash table 10 index is 0 it is key value pair for understanding purpose uh, some index 10 plus 5 15 at the position 1 15 minus 5 10 so whenever the summation it's all at this position summation is 10 you keeps on checking the hash table summation is 10 at what position 0 at the position what is the present position 2 2 minus 0 which you got it as a 2 so 2 elements length is 2 so initially max length is equal to 0 keeps on updating 2 again again keeps on continuing next so at this position 10 10 plus 1 11 at the position third position 11 plus 5 16 at the position fourth position 16 minus 6 again 10 you got a summation value of 10 you keeps on checking the previous table 10 at what position 0 at the position what is the present position 5 5 minus 0 so keeps on maximum length is updated to 5 initially 0 next updated to 2 next updated to 5 this is how we maintain the so we need to check always hash table you, you go and check the hash table if the summation is already matching to any of the previous summation identify the length if the summation is 0 what is the present position plus 1 that is the length of the maximum that is the maximum length up to now keep going keep going so that you can do it in a order of n time why we maintain the hash table in the hash table we are going to identify the elements in order of one time so so this is how you need to understand how you you can use the hash table so that you can easily solve the examples if you understand that using hash table is very very important and easy to solve many of the examples so coming to the coding part so coding is very very simple from the previous classes we already discussed how to maintain the dictionary how to maintain the summation and values so these are the conditions if summation is zero one condition if summation is equal to any of the previously hash mapped elements summation matches we are going to identify the maximum length so previous maximum length and present length which one is maximum we are keeps on updating the max length else insert that into the hash table so by listening to the logic your your part is you have to solve this example on your own that is the best practice so anyhow coding is available in our website you can download the code and you can execute it hope you understand this example if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel Please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.